Hey guys, Matt here with Belt Red Industries. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install the crossbar mounted Molly panel kit on your Rivian R1T. As you can see, we've already installed the driver side panel here. So we're gonna install the passenger side panel on my truck. First, I'm gonna show you what's included with the kit. We'll show you the tools you're gonna to need, and then we'll walk you through the installation step by step. So let's get to it. All right, so we'll show you what's included here for the passenger side. Obviously your kit's gonna include two of everything with the exception of the panel, which is side specific. So of course we have the panel itself. Next we've got the support brackets and the track stud pieces. Finally, we've got our hardware kit. You're gonna have eight button head screws, four stainless washers with stainless nuts, and then you're gonna have eight black oxide stainless washers to match those screws. For installation, very, very simple. You're just gonna need a 7 16 wrench or socket and a 5.30 seconds Allen key. All right, so the first step, once you've got your OEM crossbars installed, is to take the track stud here, that's a stainless piece of 10 gauge steel with two studs pressed in, and slip that into the track here. Then we'll take our support bracket, down through the opening in the crossbar, and over the track stud, just like that. Next, we'll take one of our stainless washers, and one of the stainless nuts, and get that started. Do the same thing with the other end here. And then after we've got these started, careful not to cross thread these. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these up so that I can still slide this around, but they're just close to being snug. So we're gonna get these tightened up. Not quite snug, but close. Part of the reason is this step is just a little bit easier when you don't have a panel in the way here. So whether you're spinning a wrench or a, a, a socket on a ratchet, you're gonna save some time and headache just by doing it like this. Just gonna make sure I can keep sliding it around without getting bound up. So that's about right there. Then we'll repeat that process on the front here. Again, we'll get a washer and one of the nuts started. Again, this is all stainless hardware. And then we will tighten these down. Tighten these down, stopping just shy of snug so that we can still move the bracket and have some adjustment as we attach that panel. Okay, so the next step, we're gonna put the panel on here. I'm gonna move my hardware into place so that it's an easy reach. All right, so we've got our panel in place here. Then we're gonna get a couple of uh, the small machine screws with a washer started, one in the rear and one in the front, just so that it's an easy thing to grab once we're holding the panel in place. We're gonna move the panel into place, being careful around your crossbars. And then we've got one of these button head screws with a washer. And I'm just gonna use my fingers to get that started here. The goal being that the panel doesn't fall onto our truck. I'm gonna do the same thing up front, just getting one of those button head screws started. So with that now, we can maneuver the panel around, get things lined up the way we like. All right, so now that we got the panel on there, it's not gonna fall. I'm gonna get the rest of the hardware started loosely. We have to lift the panel up a little bit to get them started. And then we will position the panel, get it lined up the way that we want it and snug up all the hardware. Okay, so we've got all of our hardware on here loosely now. We can move this, we can slide it a little bit. We'll do all of that in order to get the panel lined up just the way we want it. So we've got plenty of adjustability here. The sides of the bed are actually not parallel with each other, they swoop in. So you decide how you want this panel mounted. Um, I like to try and match the panel to the trim here. So we'll shoot for something like this. And now I'm just gonna start snugging things up, being conscious that I don't want the panel resting on the crossbar. It's a nice tight fitment, but it does it will fit like that as long as it's something that you're conscious of as you're tightening things up. So I'm gonna get to it. All right, so I'm gonna start by tightening down the support brackets to get the depth of the panel correct. Just snug is fine there. I'm gonna do that on the front before moving to the rear. All right, so I've got my support bracket snug. Now I'm just moving the panels front to back. I can also lift it up and down just slightly in order to get it aligned so that it's not contacting either of the crossbars. All right, so once those are snug, I'm just gonna uh, Get on the longer side of this Allen wrench, give it another eighth of a turn, tenth of a turn, something like that, just to tighten it up, and we won't have any problems. All 
right, so just like you can see, we are all set with the passenger side of our crossbar mounted molly panel kit on this R1T. Next step is to get it outfitted with accessories however we want to use it. If you have any questions, comments, feedback on the installation of the product, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Give us a call, shoot us an email. We'll get you taken care of. Thanks for watching, have a good one.